Hello everyone, we will continue the topic RFC and in the previous video, we created a RFC function module. Why, why we created a RFC function module? So that we can invoke, we can call from the external system. External system can be SAP system, it can be non-SAP system. If you will not take choose this radio button, it will never, never be invoked from the external system. External can be SAP or non-SAP system. Now, what I will do? Now, I will go to another SAP system. You can see this is another SAP system. If I will go to this system and go to SC37 transaction code, this function module is not available in this system. If I will display this function module into this system, this function module is not available in this system. Now what I will do in this system, I will call the function module of A4X system. In S4X system, I will call the function module of A4X system. Now, it's not a magic or something. Suppose simple example. We have a system, suppose ABC. We have a system XYZ. And what we are doing? Can we call this X? Can we call the function module of ABC system into XYZ system randomly? No. There must be some connection between the system. During the Papi topic also I told you and I covered there is a transaction code SM59 which is used for RFC connection. So whenever suppose I want to call the function module of this system into this system. So there must be connection between the system. Without connection I can never never call. Yes. Making a connection is totally, totally a basis person responsibility. And yes, there must be a connection between the system. After that only, we can call the RFC or function module of one system into another system. Now, now in this particular system, S4H, I want to call the RFC of A4H, RFC function module of A4H. It must, it, it means there must be a RFC connection from S4H to A4H because in S4H, you are calling the function module, RFC function module of A4H. It must be then there must be a RFC connection from S4H to A4H. Now, if I will go to SM59 transaction code in this S4H system, if I will go to SM59, anyways, this task is totally done by the SAP basis person. Now, if I will go to ABAP connections, this is S4H system. And you can see we have a A4H system. If I will double click, you can simply check the connection. You can double click. And if I will go to remote login, it will take me to A4H system. It means there is a connection from S4H to A4H. It means I can call the function module, RFC function module of A4H system into S4X system. So yes, RFC connection is compulsory without connection. Yes, we cannot call the RFC function module of another system. And just think, suppose rather than SAP system, we have non-SAP system. So in that case, also the connection is required between this SAP system and the non-SAP system. Yes, now what I will do, I will go to SC38 transaction code. I will create a program and in that program, we will call the RFC function module of A4H system. So I will go to SC38 transaction code. 
I will give some name to the program. Suppose I will say Z sales order display. Suppose here I will write A4H also so that we can understand we are displaying the sales order from A4H system. We are bringing the data from A4H system. I will go to create sales order display. I will take the type as executable program. I will go for save. I will save it as a local object. And I will activate the program. Now, what will be the input to the program? Input will be the select option because when we develop the function module, we, we went for a perception, we covered a perception that we will go for multiple values of order number, multiple values of order number. So I will take select option. Select options. I will give some name to the select option. Suppose I am saying S underscore VBELN for LV underscore VBELN. Now, I need to declare this LV underscore VBELN. So, I will declare LV underscore VBELN type data element of VBELN. You can check the data element from VBAK table itself. If I will go to VBAK table, if I will display this table, this is the data element of sales document number. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Now I will simply go for go to text elements. I will go for selection text. I will choose DDIC reference. And this sales document is coming from data element. If I will go for this data element, if you go to field label, this, this sales document is coming from the data element. So now this variable is of type this, this, if I will go for understanding, this data element has a domain of character 10. It means this LV underscore VBELN is character type length of 10. This variable we are using for select option. It means this select option is of character type and length of 10. Now we need to call the function module of A4X system here. RFC function module of A4X system. Now, if I will go to pattern button and I will pass the function module of A4X system, this A4X system, system will say it is unknown because in this particular system, we have not created this function module. So what is the best way? Okay. In this original system itself, where you have the function module, go for any sample program or any program. So that we can easily do the copy paste of the code. This is the only thing. Suppose I will go for any program. I'll just display any program. Just I am going for a program so that I can call through pattern button and copy paste the code. Suppose if I will go to change mode. Because your function module is in A4X system. So I will go to pattern button and I will call this function mod. Why I am doing this? So that I can copy paste only this code. I will just do the copy and I will do the paste. Many times people are very, very much friendly. They all know call function statement. They will pass the name of the function module. They will, they know import is export and export is import. So they manually write also. But if you do not want to write manually, just because here 
pattern button will not work because our function module is in another system itself. We are calling here. So what you can do, you can go for a sample program in the original system itself, call through pattern and do the copy paste here. Now, now this input will go to this particular parameter. Yes. And now I will simply, simply declare one internal table in front of this. So from T output, result will come to LT underscore output. Now system will say LT underscore output is unknown, unknown. So we need to declare this internal table. Now LT output must be same as that of t output t output so how how we will do i will simply simply go to sc11 transaction code now in the original system you can check in which you created the function module in the original system you can see t output is of this type this is the table type it has a structure type and it has four column. Now, this is a different system itself. S4H is a different system. It means we need to create structure type and table type here also. System will not recognize automatically. Suppose if I will go for this structure type here into this S4H system, it is unknown in this particular system. So, we need to create. Suppose I will create this structure type, structure, I will write structure. I will just do the copy paste from A4H system, control Y is yank, control C, control V. Okay, I will do again, control C, control V, done. For data elements also, control Y, control C, control P. So my structure type is ready. I will activate this structure type. Now I will create a table type. So I will put T create. Table type. And I will pass the name of the structure here. But the structure we create. Now I will declare the internal table. This is our S4X system. Yes. Now I will write. LT underscore output type. I will pass the name of the table type which we created. Yes, this is the name of the table type. Now I will declare work area also. You all know work area is always structure type. Now, I will put a loop on this internal table and I will simply do the write statement. You can go for ALB also, depends upon your requirement. And loop. Now, I will simply, simply do the write statement. LWA output hyphen VB ELN. Then I have ER dat ER ZDT and ER now. I will check the syntax and I will activate up to this level. So what is the summary of this particular video?
in this video now i went to the external system or you can understand external system or remote system is sap system itself now after that yes the most most important point is it is not a magic or game that any system can call any other system there must be a connection between the system now in s4x system i want to call the rfc function module of a4x system it means there must be a rfc connection from s4h to a4x system then in sm59 transaction code basis person will maintain the rfc connection and you can check the connection by double clicking and remote logon once you do the remote logon it will take you to the system itself in which the connections has been defined after that i went to sc38 transaction code i created a select option and yes after that i called the function module but in this system you cannot call through pattern button because that this function module is not available in this system so what is the best practice you can go to the source system you can call through the pattern and copy paste here itself or what is another way people are very much comfortable in manual writing also you can write manually also so i pass the input to this particular function module now for the result for the result we are getting a internal table but we created the structure type and table type in a4x system it will not be in s4x system so i created the same to same table type and structure type here also then i put a loop statement and we are getting the result now this program will throw runtime error because in this particular program we are calling this function module but this function module is not of this system it is of a4x system now in the next video i will simply simply come on to the syntax which we studied at the initial level itself so that's it in this video thank you